morning everybody, this is Coach Hull. For today's workout you need a ball, it can be a soccer ball, basketball, volleyball, kickball, just something that you can hold in two hands, so a tennis ball or a baseball, that won't work, so something big enough for you to hold in two hands. I hope everybody had a safe and restful weekend and are ready to get started with our workout for today. We're going to be using the ball for different exercises, we might use them to balance, we might use it as a medicine ball, we might use it as something to put above our head or use as a target on the ground. The first exercise we're going to do is you need to hold the ball out in front of you, straight out, my arms are straight, we're going to do high knees. You can put the ball as high as you want to, just something that you know that you can reach. So don't put it way up high. We want our knees to come to the ball, move down a little bit, touch, touch, touch. I'm not hitting it so I drop it, I'm just using it as a guide touch. We're going to do each exercise for 45 seconds. You take a 15 second break so you will need some form of stopwatch or clock to keep time and then we will continue throughout the rest of the circuit. So we have 45 seconds of work and then 15 seconds of rest. So the first exercise, high knees, ball out in front, out high, I'm touching it. You want to make it harder? Bring the ball up higher, easier, bring it lower. So first exercise is high knees, 45 seconds with a 15 second break. The next exercise, we're gonna use the ball to do some jump squats. We're gonna start with the ball above our head. We squat down, remember, 90 degrees. Touch, up, jump. It's all one movement. But make sure you're bending your knees, the ball touches the ground, and then it comes up in the air. So up, bring it down, jump, bring it down, jump. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds break. This next exercise is an ab exercise. So you need space where you can lay down. We're going to use our feet flat on the ground, knees bent, ball is up. I'm going to touch the ground. I come up, toss, catch, down, touch, toss, catch. Make sure I'm coming all the way up. I'm not throwing the ball super high, just high enough to know I can catch it. Forty-five seconds of work, 15 seconds break. We're going to work on some upper body movements. We're going to do some push-ups. We're using the ball to be in one hand. Make sure it's stable before you get down. You can do knee push-ups, or you can do full push-ups. Whatever you feel comfortable and confident with. When we do the push-up, we're going to go all the way down, come up. If you can, stay up, switch hands. Up, switch hands. If you're doing it with the knees, same thing. Down, come up, switch, switch. If you can't, if you're doing a full push-up and you can't switch by staying up after you've done a push-up, come up, you can move down, switch, come up, back onto your knees, switch. So push-ups, alternating the ball in between each hand. 45 seconds, 15 seconds break. For this exercise, we're going to be doing some one leg balancing and some hopping. It involves high knees. We're going to be putting the ball underneath each leg, alternate underneath. Underneath, don't throw the ball, just grab it with your opposite hand. When we do it faster, high knees. If you can't do it fast, just work on it slower. Whichever one you like the best. For this ab exercise, it's called Russian twists. You want to be able to keep your feet up in the air, I cross them to help me keep them up. If you can't, you can also have your heels on the ground. You need your ball. We're going to be twisting from side to side so my feet are up in the air. I'm touching next to my hip, come over, next to my hip, come over. Russian twist with your feet down, same thing applies. If you can go further back to touch, do it, help with your balance. If not, just do hip, hip, hip. Russian twist, 45 seconds, 15 seconds break. For this next exercise, we're going to be having the ball on the floor. We're going to 
to do some toe taps to keep the ball still. We're not moving it, we're just touching it with our toes. So slowly, we're just touching. When we get faster, use your arms to help. They'll also help with your balance. Toe touches, 45 seconds. For this next one, we are using a squat position. My toes are slightly pointed in. I'm down as far as I can get that is comfortable. If going all the way down is too much, come up to where you feel the best. My toes are in. We're going to be bouncing, staying in position. Staying strong. It's like a wall sit, but an air squat if you can get lower. Be careful with the ball. Don't hit it hard. For this exercise, you will need space to lay down. I'm going to use the ball to hold it in between my feet. I took my socks off so I can grab the ball. These are leg lifts. We've done leg lifts plenty of times, but the ball is in between my feet. Grip it. You have to squeeze it tight, so you're using your upper legs, your quads, to hold the ball. Again, hands under your back if you need it. If not, you can just hold them out straight. We're coming up, down. Remember, I'm not letting the ball or my feet crash. If you get really good at it, you can go down, come up, switch, switch. Whichever one you decide. So leg lifts with the ball in between your feet, or you can switch between your hands and your feet. 45 seconds. Our final exercise for today's workout is going to be some side lunges. The ball is above our head. Keep your arms straight up as high as you can at all times. When we lunge, I'm going to step out with my left foot first. My toes are staying pointed forward. Out. Lunge. Back to the middle. Out. Lunge. Back to the middle. Keep the ball up high. You're going to go each side for a total of 45 seconds. This is our last exercise. Side lunges. Thank you guys for joining me today for our quick workout. I'm glad that we can use something simple as a soccer ball and we're inside to exercise. As you guys know, soccer is my favorite sport, so any way I can get the ball involved, I'm happy. Enjoy, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep exercising. I'll see you soon.